Do you have like an abundance of baseball caps? Maybe you like to wear them or maybe your husband does or even your kids. Well, we're gonna to talk today about solutions for organizing and storing some baseball caps. Hi, I'm Lorraine Brock with Get Organized. I'm a professional organizer and owner of a company called Get Organized, where we come into your home and get you organized in the Dallas, Fort Worth, and Oklahoma City area. Well, baseball caps, we have some. In fact, I'm actually in a closet right now, and I want to sort of share with you guys what I do, and then I also found a great product that might be of interest to you if this is not a solution for you. This is actually a door that leads out into my garage. This door right here is actually the garage door that leads out to the garage. And this just happens to be an extra little closet right here that we use for our game closet. That will be on another episode of Tip Tuesday, not today. But today I wanna to talk about the actual baseball caps. What we found out is years ago before we actually had a solution for storing them, is that often the guys would get out to their car because they were the ones that tend to wear the hats in our family more and they would have to run back upstairs or run to their room and go get the hat and we would have to wait. We found it very convenient to change that and put the hats here where if they forget them and they're going somewhere and they have some bad, bad hair day or bed head, then they can just grab a cap really quickly and be able to leave and go versus having to come all the way in the house. So our solution ended up being this closet right here, which is our game closet, now also stores the baseball hats. I wanna show you this solution here. I actually got at Container Store quite a while back and they do sell this exact same one for about $19.99 on the Container Store the Container Store's website, as well as Amazon has it. So it's just two of these little bungee cords here actually come in the uh, container, the box for $19. So you can hold, I don't know, probably about 18 to 20 baseball caps if you don't overlay them. And you'll notice right here is a little bitty tab. You can see I'll turn it sideways right there. It's just a little bitty fabric, but it's very, um, very hard, like a hard, uh, uh, I guess cardboard, but it's it's durable. And your the idea is to hang a loop or hats that maybe don't have a loop, something like this, just to hang it right on there and it actually stays. And we don't have any problem falling off. In fact, we've actually doubled them a couple times when you do these. Uh, the ones that actually have a hole here, you can double them and hang them versus the ones that don't really have anything here. And this is like our little cute little hat. We got this in New York off the streets. I don't have any idea where we'll wear it again, but maybe to like a murder mystery dinner, right? It's like one of those things you want to keep because you know you're going to use it sometimes. And yes, I could give it away, but remember, I have room for it. So just because I may not use it all the time, I've got ample storage for it, which is a great reason that I can keep it. Uh, if I didn't have a lot of space and I was struggling with that, I may say that has to go, right? Because I don't really use it that often. So anyway, this item here is really good. The great thing about this and is at the top and the bottom, it actually just hangs over the door just a little bit. It's not screwed in, it's not bolted in, so it do doesn't damage the door at all. And I really like this product because it does hold a lot. You know, we, we wear baseball hats, but we're not massively into it. So, you know, 20 um, places to hang a hat is really good for us. So anyway, that's one of the solutions here I would recommend. I, I recommend doing it somewhere that's convenient, uh, that you can actually grab and go. And you can tell we have a Patriots fan in the family. Is that like normal in Dallas? I don't know. At least it's American colors, right? Okay. Um, another product that's really, really cool. Now, I have never used this, but it's a really cool product. And I actually found it in searching for another Tip Tuesday idea. Now, and I don't have the products I'm gonna show you. This is, it's about nine, I think nine or 15, nine to 15 dollars on Amazon. Just look for something like this. And these hats actually just, just wedge right in there. You can hold purses with them. Uh, it shows examples of jewelry. And you can hang these on a wall behind a door 
Uh, you can hang multiple ones on a wall going all the way down and they nest really nicely uh, in there. And again, it just sort of like, just like a, like a broom handle, it sort of squeezes right into there and keeps it and then you can bend it enough to get it out. So this is another solution for baseball hats. Uh, if you want to put them all on a wall in a closet or behind a door, some place where you're not using this space is really good. Um, I don't necessarily, there used to be ideas years ago where people would put them all on the top of closets all the way around, like on nails or hooks. To me, that is pointless. Number one, you can't get to them really easily and they just collect dust. So unless you're using them for some type of decor, I wouldn't do that. Make them convenient and make it where you can get to it. But look behind the door on closets. You could even, if you wanted to, and I'm a, this is actually, you screw this in. So you'd want to actually, if you put it on a door, it's going to damage it permanently. But if that's what your solution is and you are an avid baseball hat wearer, then this solution might be for you. So just check that out. So I'll give you a couple tips on baseball hats for today. And then I wanted to mention our winner for last month. We gave away this beautiful, large canvas beach bag, outdoor travel bag, picnic bag. It's great. Uh, this is going to go to Kristen Moore, Mormon. Kristen, I think is how you pronounce her name. And uh, she's actually going to win this. So we messaged her to get her address and we're going to mail it back. So for and how she won this was because she left comments or shared all of our Tip Tuesdays or some of them throughout the month of April and that entered her into the drawing. So you want to be in the drawing, make a message or message down below, some kind of comment, share our post. We'd love to have more Tip Tuesday people and you'll win something eventually, I'm sure. We will be in the drawing. But for the month of May, we're going to go ahead and give away two of these so not just one but two of them that you can actually use in your home closet wherever so keep in mind to win this make comments share and we'll add them all up at the end of may and then we'll announce the winner the first of june so you have all month long to make watch all the tip tuesdays and every one of them past present future make comments with them on that particular month this may month and you'll have a chance. So awesome. Well, next Tip Tuesday, I am hoping to have one of our organizers on to, to be able to answer some ideas about graduation gifts, organizing tools that would be good for a graduate, uh, maybe launching out on a career or launching out into their new place. And so we're going to be talking about that next Tip Tuesday. Hopefully I can send advice one of them to come on and make some great comments and share some great things with you. But either way, join me each week here on Tip Tuesday Facebook Live where I'll give you all kinds of tips about your home, business, and life that will completely get you organized. So I will see you guys next week on Tip Tuesday. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.